Well, welcome back to the Jaw Media YouTube channel. Today we're going to be working on this 2002 Ford F-250 with the big Triton V8. And it's got a leaky valve cover. It's getting down on the exhaust and stinking. So we're going to work on replacing that valve cover gasket. Okay, we got our seven thousand dollar light back out, and uh, this thing this thing stinks of uh, burning oil. I don't know if you can see down in there, right there where the light's shining. There's oil dripping onto the wire pipe. I guess you call it a wire pipe, and uh, it's threatening to ignite on fire every time you park it. So I've never worked on a uh, uh, never worked on a Triton, but. It don't look like it's going to be too terrible. It looks like there's about 14,716 bolts and studs with nuts on them. Teeny tiny things. What are those? Tens, maybe? Right there. But we'll take those out. Pop that valve cover off. Hopefully we can get to them all because this engine's tucked under the firewall a little bit. And uh, we'll see if we can do it. Uh, looks like this hose will just move out of the way. That's a heater core line. And... We should be good on the coil pack plugs. I don't think we have to unplug any of that. There is this weird plastic bracketry that's probably just sitting in here. That'll probably just come right out. And then the crankcase vent, we'll move that out and uh, take the bolts and nuts out and pop her off and fix it. Okay, see how wide this engine is? See that? See how it looks retarded? See how big the head is? There's like nine feet between this head and that head. A 351 is a small block, isn't it? Cause I thought there were 351 medium blocks and small blocks and big blocks yeah. whatever anyway there's a cam under here this overhead cam engine and uh actually i've never had one of these off i don't know if it's chain driven or belt driven i assume there's it's chain driven and that chain has to be 60 feet long but so yeah <clears throat> anyway there we go thank you ford for being so good okay so these valve cover or cam cover whatever you want to call them, bolts are eight millimeter. And on our truck here, this big plastic rail thing that glooms all these wires, well, it's broke, so it's just kind of laying in there. So I've just got it wedged up. But now we can see all the bolts on the top and bottom, which means we can probably reach them. So we'll take those out and uh, see if we've got any major problems going on with this valve cover. Okay, oops, down to the last bolt, and um, upon further inspection, it looks like somebody has already done this recently, because the, uh, you can't see it really good, but the gasket surface that pokes out between the valve cover and the head is clean, and these little rubbers, you can't see it either, there's my high quality camera, well they look brand new, and then all these bottom bolts were way over tightened. So I think somebody's addressed this leak before and they haven't been able to fix it. So we may need to replace the whole valve cover or cam cover. But we'll go ahead and take this thing off and see what it looks like. All right, now we're underneath the truck. We got a leaky transmission pan, it looks like, or it's soaked in oil. But if you look up there, somebody has uh, siliconed the back corner of this valve cover in hopes of slowing down this massive oil leak Obviously, they didn't, they didn't fix it. So, we have to contend with that mess, too. Um, so, wish us luck. All right, well, we got the valve cover off, and that was no fun. You see down in there, there's the, there's the thing sticking up at the right at the back of the cam. I assume that's an oil passage. But yeah, you got to get the valve cover up and over that. And that's not easy with the heater box. And then, obviously, you got to get over this cam gear here. So... Going back together is going to be fun without knocking the gasket off. Um, you know, I can see why they uh, had some issues. They probably knocked the gasket off, and that's why it leaked. So we're going to put a teeny tiny little bead of silicone underneath the gasket on the valve cover, and then a teeny tiny little bead on top, and probably just get silicone all over the engine. But that's our only hope, I think. See anything? Looks like that was laying over. Possibly. 
That would definitely do it. So they may have not had that in the groove. All right, so we put a little bit of silicone on the inside, on the valve cover itself, to help hopefully hold this gasket in more gooder. And then uh, you see these, this thing here, these little half circles. Well, your bolts have a ridge on them, on this little sleeve. And you just need to shove your bolt through, and then I'm using a pick. Be careful because you don't want to poke a hole in your gasket. That would really suck. But we're just tucking it down in there like that. And like this. And that helps hold the gasket in place. Also, I would assume that this would leak through these bolts if you don't do this properly. So maybe that's what happened. Maybe they didn't do this right and it was leaking through the bolts back there. But I don't know. There's a good chance that we're uh, screwed, but we're going to give it our best shot. Ain't that right? That's right. Yeah. I think my cameraman's arm's getting tired. All right, we're getting ready to go back on the valve cover. We've got all this, all this right here, bungeed up to the hood to try to get as much clearance down there as possible. And then the injector harness. We've got a custom made bungee running on the back of the throttle body over to that shock. So hopefully we can get down in there without peeling the gasket off. It's a given, but this is going to be an absolute bastard, isn't it? Yes, it is. Let's see if we can just go ahead and bust this hose while we're at it. That's about as much room as we're going to get. All right, we got the valve cover on, and it's, an, it's a miracle. But, like I said, we bungeed all this stuff up, bungeed this harness back, and then it took two people. So, take, send somebody underneath. They're going to have to gouge their arm off. Because I, re I reached right through the inner fender and I was able to guide the rear of the valve cover down to the engine. And then I was able to push the gasket back up into the valve cover. So, I know for 100% sure the gasket is in properly. Valve cover's on, so now it's just a matter of tightening all the bolts up. And uh, unbungeeing stuff. And we're good to go. Ford guys, I envy you because uh, if you're dedicated to Ford this much where you would do this and enjoy it, you deserve a medal or two. Oh, and um, I guess it kind of makes sense. Ford has provided this nice tool bench for when you're working on your Tritons. You know, you have all of this real estate to put your tools, your brake cleaner, your beer. I'm sure if we look hard enough, there's probably a roll of paper towels under here somewhere from the factory for... When you gouge your, your arm open, you're bleeding, or you want to blow your nose because you're crying because it's a Ford. Anyway, we're going to tighten these these really heavy duty eight millimeters back up, and uh, this project should be done. All the oil should remain inside the engine unless it's shooting it out the exhaust, which is possible because it's a Ford. All right, we finally got all the bolts tight. Um, okay. Yeah. So. Uh, let me hook this, P, this uh, PCV back up, P, PV, yeah, crankcase vent. That's in there. So, yeah, we got all the bolts tight. Um, if you're getting ready to embark on this adventure, I'd recommend pulling the motor out. It's probably easier to do it that way. Um, not really, but no, it's a bear. Good luck. Uh, we're not doing the other side. It's not leaking. So we'll give this a week or two and let the other side start, and then I guess we'll probably have to do the other side then. But for right now, hang on. Yeah. It's done, and uh, the uh, the 400 gallons of oil that was pumping out the back of the valve cover is fixed. So I know this video was a little different. We didn't have a, we didn't have any actual wrench turning or anything going on because I forgot my daggone um, tripod. So hopefully this helps. I'm not sure if it will, but thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>